you want to know? Well, I think I'm thinking about you. It's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright. It's like luck is raining on me. Go and follow your heart. Doesn't matter how far. There is so much love to give. Something's telling me this time, baby, baby, now I know. Baby, baby, gotta go. There is so much love. To give something's telling me it's right. When you came to me, oh I knew it's you, yeah, boy. The one who showed me now. Welcome to Planet Flipside Homespun Magic. I'm Vixen Little Paw. This is my friend Cherry Bump Pop. Hi, Sydney. Uh, we're doing a crochet along, and if you want to crochet along with us, the pattern, the first five rows of the pattern are in the Discord server, which is linked below. Now, if you haven't been paying attention, that's fine. Uh, what one what, the things that you will need are. Seven um, colors of yarn, seven unless colors you want to of do yarn one and color. a corresponding hook. Yes. All right. I'm using so, a four weight worsted yarn and a J hook because a J hook for some reason is my favorite hook. I'm using worsted yarn and I thought it was an I, but it's an H. It's an H. It's a so <laughs> the first thing you're going to want to do is make a loop or do your circle however you do your starting circle. Magic circle. However you want. But I like magic circles because I try to get it as tight as I can so that the center is pulled together. And we're going to be working this in rounds. And you're always going to be working with your front side facing you through this whole project. Just they so call it know. the right side. Yeah. The right side is the front side. And the wrong side is the back side. And if, if you ever show your work to my great grandmother, they be better both look pretty. She would always check my, that's how she checked my work. She checked the back side. So your first round is going to look like this. If you're using a four weight. Fixies looks way better than mine. I've been doing this a lot longer. <laughs> you can't compare them. And you do, you do the animal things better than I do. But, um. Oh, the amigurumis. That's because instead of, okay, so with the amigurumis, instead of doing when you yarn over for your single crochets, I don't do them in the front. I do them backwards. Yeah, I don't know if I can teach myself that. I've tried. Instead of going this way. Mm -hmm. Wait, hold on. Let me make one real quick. <laughs> you go through and then pull Instead it of doing this way? Yeah. No, wait. Fuck, I can't do it now. Unless I'm working <laughs> on one. Anyways, before we confuse people, yeah. um, first thing you're going to do is make your magic circle. or your If you want to do chain circle, that's fine, however you want to do it. This is yours. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's okay. It's yours. It makes special. And if it's your okay. first time doing it, that just means you got practice for next yeah. time. And usually if I do chain, I do like a chain three or a chain five and make the circle, depending on how tight I'm willing to make it. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do, uh, a chain, is it chain three for the beginning? Ooh, five. No. Yeah. No. With a, make an adjustable ring around one right side, beginning cluster and ring chain five cluster and ring seven times chain five join with slip stitch on top of beginning of chain eight clusters and eight chain five spaces fasten off okay so we're using they're using a triple stitch for the cluster 
So um, triple stitch you yarn over twice and pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and you should have two hoops left on your hook before you do that again. And then there should be another hoop left on your hook. Do it again. There should be a fourth hoop left on your hook. After that, you pull through all four to bring them together and do a chain one to hold them. Don't freak out. You're doing it's okay. great. You're doing great. It's um, really not that big of a deal. Honestly, if you did doubles, it wouldn't make that big of a deal. It just makes it pointier. I love triples. And we are we are talking American triples. So other countries, their triples are our doubles. So. Do, 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 Wait, what? Do, do, do. I have oh, in my head so, hey, dummy, read the directions. Yeah, at the top you have all your special stitches, so your clusters and your popcorns. There's well. also on the second page, there's abbreviations as well. I didn't do the whole thing. That's okay. I don't think. No, the abbreviations are on there. The CL is a cluster. And the thing about this one is, is you don't have to do color changes on it if you don't want to. Nope. It's all up to you. You can color change all the time, like for every row if you want to, but you're going to need more colors. And just to let you guys know, this is actually, the pattern is actually a free pattern that you can, so that's how we're able to be able to do this. I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm going to do. <laughs> so when I was done, I um, wove in my ends. That's your preference. If you want to mm -hmm. wave your ends in as you go, or if you want to do it all at the end, or if you want to crochet them in as you go. With open work, like this is what I call open work. See the big holes? With open work like this, I like to, I don't usually chain my, I don't usually crochet mine in very often with the whole work like that. Because it tends not to be as tight as I like it. Now on here for, I'm jumping ahead a little bit, mm -hmm. but on the popcorn stitch, the way that I do mine is a little bit different because you're supposed to do four double crochets and then just pull through at the end of the fourth one. I like to put a single crochet at the end of that. So when you, when you may, when it popcorns out, it actually stands up. You don't have to do that. That's, that's the difference between a bobble stitch and a popcorn stitch. My brain's farting again. Good thing I can't smell it. Okay, so... Um, yes, ma'am. Are you working on the second row already? I am. Okay, so the second row, we're going to... Our next color... And just insert into any of these hoops. It doesn't matter which one. Put your crochet, pull your yarn through, and you're going to chain three. What I did since I ended 
when I did my color swap. Mm -hmm. um, on my left, so when I started the next row, I did a chain up and then went into my next space because I was already in, I was attached to the very first cluster. So when I go into the last space, I'll just do three double crochets and attach that to this line right here. Not that you can see it. This is what I'm talking about right here. So this is actually going to be a part of the last um, okay, popcorn so stitch. Okay, so here we have our chains, right? And this is what mm -hmm. they meant by dropping the loop. You drop the loop. So here's your loop that you're just working in. Take your hook, go through your first, see if I can, go through your first chain that you did. See how I did that? Mm -hmm. And then pick up that other loop that you were working with and pull it through and pull it through. This will that really, is, that's an original way to do a bobble stitch. This is, yeah, this is how. That's you see, it gives it a really big pop. Right. You With mine, they're a little bit different, and I'll show you why. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to do my four doubles. But I'm not going to pull all of them all the way through. I'm only going to do up to the, the first pull through. And I'm going to yarn over again. I'm going to do another one. Same thing. Did not complete the stitch. Yarn over. First pull or First pull through, not completing the stitch, going back in, so doing the same thing. And then when I have five hoops on my on my hook, I'm going to pull through all five, and it's going to give it the same effect. That's just a newer way to do a bubble stitch or a, yep. a popcorn stitch. You swiped it, and then you're doing two of those per hole. Yeah. Was a chain three? Mm hmm In between. Now, if you're going to do the end like I'm going to do, it's going to get a little tricky because you're going to have to go through this very first chain and yarn over and then pull that through so you have a complete popcorn. But I'm going to do a color change real quick. So... I should have used Oh, good. Yarn. They didn't change Great. the chain. <laughs> chain three. Chain three, chain three, chain three is our mantra. So row two is going to look like such, even though Vixie's is going to be way better. I almost did a triple. I wasn't thinking. I just started doing. I'm like, no, that's not right. Oh, no, that's not going to work. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot no. to put my chain three in. That's okay. I fucked up on the end of the last row. <laughs> so we're going to make what's called a magic knot back into my previous color. 
because instead of doing two popcorns, I only did one. Where'd you go, Hook? Pardon my sniffles. I am very congested. Hi, Dane. Now we're gonna do a color swap like a smart cookie. <laughs> Ah, the yarn split. Oh, I hate yarn splits. I have this silk yarn that I absolutely love the way it works up, mm -hmm. but I hate using it because it splits like crazy. It's beautiful, though. It's hard to work with. I got to really want whatever it is I'm making. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah, okay. So that's... Why did you... Why are you... Twi don't twist like that. I hate when you do that. Third row is super easy, by the way. Yeah. That's why you twisted. We're not having that today, fucker. Eyes in charge. <laughs> you do what I do. Oh, fucking yarn splits. <laughs> I jinxed it. One, two, three, four. Well, and my gauge is probably a lot looser than Vixie's, which is perfectly fine. Yeah, mine's too tight sometimes for stuff I'm making. I hate it. Oh, you're a needle <laughs> squeaker, aren't you? Sometimes, yeah. And which makes your hands just mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I never gauge anything that I do, because I'm like, nah. Well, if I'm doing clothes, I always gauge. Always gauge if you're doing clothes. My mother does not it drives me crazy. I usually end up inheriting anything she makes because she makes it way too big. Because she doesn't gauge it. Though I get really cool stuff. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Thank you, Jelly Bane. I made that all by myself. It's a brainwave beanie that I put a ginormous pom-pom on. Like, the pom-pom is literally almost as big as my head. <laughs> like, that, that's, that's... Those are the best. Yes, and I can't even tell you how I made that fucking pom-pom. I think it was a hairspray bottle. I used to use VHS tapes. Well, that's a good idea. But I don't have any anymore. <laughs> they were a good size, though. 
You uh, hardback books too tend to be a good size. <clears throat> Excuse me, go through your fucking hole. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me, where do you belong? Matter of fact, since I've made this pom-pom, I actually ended up buying pom-pom makers. Um, and the biggest size I have is a large, and I need to buy one for an extra large. Then I was like, oh, or I could just, you know, go buy pom -poms. mass amounts of pom-pom for pom-poms. I, pom I hate making pom-poms. Doesn't bother me. It's like one of those things I just hate doing. I would be like, I'm the kid who's like, yeah, you do the pom-poms. I'll do the rest of it. <laughs> There's usually one person who's like doing pom-poms, so. I didn't say I, it, it doesn't bother me, but I won't sit there and make a ton of them at one point. Oh, for any kind of crafts, we need pom-poms. Ooh, that was exciting. So when you end your one, two, three, third round, it's going to look like so. Yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, Oh, it looks like a giant kush ball. I remember kush balls. I wish they still had those. When Okay, back when I used to do D&D &D not online, those were what, as a DM, when I had big, pe big tables of people, like more than 10, mm -hmm. I would throw them at players. Yes. Who weren't paying attention. Yes, I would be one of those people. Yes, multiple times, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Smack. World. I was imagining things that aren't happening yet. We're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Who said to you, Matt? <laughs> I call shenanigans. I'm leaving my ends long enough to sew in later because I don't feel like crocheting them in. So I'm going to have all these wonderful little tails all over the place until I get. How far did you get? Are you feeling better, Vixie? And how far did you guys get in Don't Starve Together last night? Uh, we didn't go. We didn't do Don't Starve Together last night. We did Minecraft. We did Minecraft and I got sick. Um, but we are on day i don't remember what day but we have a really nice camp oh dummy do don't chain five chain three nine? and do five double crochets dummy Excuse you, Yarn. We are not going to argue with me to fuck off. We're not going to. Okay, we're going <laughs> to. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what mine looks like with the two. So pretty. So I'm going to move these in because they'll drive me crazy. My birthday was good. Um, I'm glad. I, I made what I wanted for dinner. I made a giant brownie. Well, I made a box of brownie. I ate a whole third of the fucking pan to myself. Because um, it was my birthday. Because it was my birthday. <laughs> um, and the funny thing was, is so the pan was an eight and a half by eight and a half. And the instructions have for an eight by eight or a nine by nine. And it was either 40, or 40, 30 to 40 minutes or 40 to 50 minutes. And I said, well, since it's a half, I'm just going to do 42 minutes for my 42nd birthday. And it was the perfect Ghirardelli caramel walnut brownie. Because it Yum. was crunchy on the outside and it was gooey on the inside. And then I ordered crochet hooks. Yay! I don't know if they did or not. I didn't log in on my birthday. I know the next day everybody was telling oh. me happy birthday, though. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine did on my birthday when, when I have my birthday. I still have some of the stuff from it. Oh, that fifth round is going to be a bitch, by the way. A little bit. <laughs> that's definitely going to probably take some uh, hand-holding for some people. And that's okay. That's what we're here for. If you need more than what we have here, you can always ask us in the Discord server. And we will help. Right, Cherry? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Me too. Dude, I haven't eaten anything today. That's why I'm freaking starving right now. Daddy and meatballs and it was delicious. <laughs> oh, jealous. Okay. So this is pretty much how it looks with the, the weaved in you're getting you're getting a lot of movement from those popcorn, which is what you want with this kind of project. Okay, next color. You should try. You should TikTok to your birthday because they throw you. You should TikTok you, to your. You birthday? should try to. Oh, try to do as travel. much as I time travel. They throw me birthday parties all the fucking time. <laughs> okay, where am I? Round. Right side facing, draw up loop of E in any three space chain. Eight counts as double. Which which one are you on? Oh, counts as double chain and five, uh, double crochet. Oh, and the five. the eight. Yeah, I was like, wait, what? So basically, what you're yeah. gonna do is you're just gonna throw one double crochet in your chain spaces. Yeah. And then. Okay, that's it, Myrtle. You're fired. I can't have that. What happened? She had a chicken fried <laughs> steak with country gravy and baked potato. Oof. I, I like country fried steak, but it is not one of my favorites. Oh, that's my kid's favorite thing in the entire fucking world. I don't either, Jelly Bean. And... Oh, okay. I see what we're doing. We're just doing straight DCs. I had leftovers in the fridge, but I have a teenager. So you can guess where that went. But I do have 10 pounds of hamburger meat that I really need to uh, separate and uh, freeze again. Um, so I'm probably going to take some of that and make something. Now, all of the yarns that I picked for this are all variegated. So it's going to give a very diverse color blend. Mm -hmm. I 
I've just been drinking water and zero sugar Dr. Pepper all day. I, I literally do not drink soda unless Justin brings it home to me. Um, just so I don't have that fucking temptation because the carb counts on those, regardless if they're zero sugar, would probably kill my carb count since I intermittent fast. But I had a huge salad last night. Is being fired worse than being shunned? It's worse than being grounded, that's for sure. Yeah. I think so. No. <sighs> Oh, another thing is if we can't answer the questions or we don't get to your questions in time on the Discord, understand there is always YouTube to rely on. Yeah, there's a lot of great tutorials on YouTube. I'd rather be great. I, I learned how to do the dragon stitch, the dragon scale stitch on YouTube. I still can't do it. It's probably simple as shit. It's a little complex, actually. I've only ever tried it one time, and when they told me that I needed to go backwards, I was like, yep, nope, can't do that. <laughs> Jelly bean, we need to make a chart so we can see how much trouble we get into. <laughs> or, I'm sorry. That's gratitude right there. We need to make a chart so we can keep up with how much trouble we get into. Dude, here's the problem is is um my attention span will not allow charts because I would forget. Like I honestly believe I have some form of ADHD. I'd rather be Oh, I already read that. Oh, you know what sounds really good, but it's going to take a really long time to make? Beef stroganoff. Cheeseburger soup. Uh, that will actually last me days because the cauliflower that I use, it's a keto version, so I use cauliflower right. in it. Um, it fills you up really quick. It's like one of my favorite keto comfort foods. Can you eat broccoli cheddar, broccoli, broccoli cauliflower cheddar soup? Yeah. I, that would be my go-to, I think. Instead of using milk, I just use heavy whipping cream. Um, oh, I just use milk. Or I don't even use a lot of milk. I mostly just use cheese. Oh, no. Trust and believe. I and have broth. Five, ten. Chicken broth. Well, I have probably 15 pounds of cheese in the fridge right now. <laughs> First offense grounded. Second offense fired. Third, against, third offense shunned. <laughs> no, I think it should go grounded, shunned, then fired. Because yeah, you can I think come so back too. from being shunned. So please just grab... How many times have I grounded you? How many times did I ground you last year, Myrtle? That's the question. Because um, I ground my bomb pops quite often. I don't think they're ever going to be ungrounded. I don't think I've ever been grounded, but... No, that's because you're the supervisor. <laughs> None of the bomb pops. No, that's me. I don't I don't play enough over there, that's why. Well, I'm you just also always don't busy. have Facebook Messenger, so like we have a little group in Facebook. Oh, that's Messenger. true too. And the funny thing is, is like everybody gets all worried. Like if somebody leaves the group, I'm like, they are not obligated to be here. It's perfectly fine. 
don't freak out. Maybe they have something going on. Me. Yeah, that's why that, and so is Myrtle, and that's why the three of you stay in trouble. So is Kira, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that's why you guys always stay in trouble because y'all are bomb pops. And see, like Trouble I make makers. these rules, and I'm I, I find them hard to follow myself. And I'm like, I was just gonna say, mad. she makes the rules that she doesn't follow. I can't get mad at them because <laughs> I've done it myself. She grounds you and thinks if I get but caught. But we are one of the least dramatic TikTok families to come together. There's very few families that are as not dramatic as we are. <laughs> We don't allow it. It's not in the guidelines. No, nope. Vixie Squad. <laughs> nope. It's, we it's, basically have the same the rules. Little... It's just I made a thing of it. If no, if I Mal. have to stop and tell one of them that you're, they're being an asshole, that's when they know they're in they're in real yeah. trouble. If I have to tell you you're being an asshole, there's a problem. And and we're talking about one of the biggest assholes that everybody knows. You? Yeah. If I have to tell you that you're being an asshole, there's a problem. Brittany, I don't know. Did I send you the rules? Because I would have DM'd you on, uh, on I'd have I to check that. the Am list, and the that? list is some, I don't know where the list is. I think it's in the when back People room. ask me. If ask I me. DM'd you the, uh, the rules on TikTok, and yes, it'll be in your inbox somewhere. If not, no. <laughs> But it's not hard. And you get <laughs> you get a welcome video, and then I gotta spend the fucking time to take every single one of these motherfuckers, and there's over a hundred of us at this point. <laughs> but the welcome videos always go over great. All right. There are people that are literally I have a wait list that I go through about once or twice a year. All right. So this is third row. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done with fourth row. Which is just like making loops. Just making loops. We make we're magic with build off these loops. Whenever you make loops like this in a crochet, usually that means we're building off of them. It's structure. What? Crocheting and knitting is making magic with knots. Okay. It's not yep. magic. That's all it is. By knot of one, my spell's begun. You wish Remy. Oh, I thought you were. My brain went somewhere else with that jelly bean. She says, I wish Remy <laughs> would join us on Planet Flipside. But I read, my brain went, I wish Remy would join us on Plenty of Fish. What? No, we're not on there. So does that mean I can't well, get grounded? Oh, no, I can ground you. <laughs> but I won't be as strict on you as a bomb pot. Which I'm really not that fucking strict. I just tell them to stop being assholes. <laughs> like the other night we had this whole conversation and I can't, oh, it was about one of the, the girls in the group and she had crocheted um, a male part so mm -hmm. to speak. And uh, a penis. Yes. A penis. And she had posted pictures in the group and there was this whole conversation in there. And I, I typed in and I, I commented, I was like, I was going to ask you motherfuckers, what the fuck is wrong with you? And then I remembered you guys are my family. <laughs> yeah. Basically when I, when I ground you, it's like a pop on the wrist. There's about once or twice a year where I let them have 24 hours. Or they can do whatever they want. And like everybody's got their own. This, this room has more corners than I know what to do with. Because everybody's got their own little fucking corners. Uh, one Scotsman has Phil in his corner. And he thinks that I can't see Phil. And that, that I'm mistaken Phil for Scotsman. And that's that's not the case. I know, what's, I know what's going on Robert. I know it's not you. It's Phil. We know the truth. We're not afraid to say it. No. Okay, now what am I doing? Uh, you are going to make uh, the first, you're going to chain up three, and then you're going to do five double crochets in each space, and then you're going to chain three, and you're going to do six double crochets in every space after that. Oh, okay. That's easy. That's self-explanatory. Yeah, and I'll show you just in a second what that's going to look like if you have a looser gauge like I do. That's why I don't make clothing. My amicurumis, though, I'm a fucking needle squeaker on. <laughs> it's going to get a little wobbly right around here because you've got so much space in between. But it'll all work out in the end. 
because when I lay it flat, it'll it'll stretch itself out. But this is going to be what row four looks like. What you got, Vixie? There is a bomb pop in Discord. It's six DC. What does fired mean? <laughs> it's just I'm sick of it. <laughs> yeah, it means you're done. You're done until I. Okay, Jelly Bean, hold on. One, two, three. It means you're done five, until I'm not. Until I'm ready for you to six. To, to, There, it's fixed. Oh, so you don't do any chains between them? You do three chains between them. You do your six double crochet. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see the chains. I'm crocheting this tail in. <laughs> you do what you gotta do, boo boo. <laughs> And we're going to see if both of the computers are going to cooperate for me to play Don't Starve together tonight. Yay! Crafty Grandma said, count me in on the video awesome. that I made, by the way. You guys, if there are any knitters or crocheters on TikTok that you would like to see on a creator corner, please let us know. And uh, or direct them to us, yes, please. I want to get a panel um, together for a creator corner one night of nothing but knitters and crocheters. Now, granted, we can only do I don't know how many we're going to be able to do. We might have to do a couple of panels if it goes the way that I think it's going to go. Oh, wait, which one's that? I did that one already. Oh, I need to separate you guys. I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. <laughs> I'm separating you two. I'm doing that one. What the fuck? No. You don't. You. You. Come here. You don't go there. How did you get there? Where are you? Come here. Come here! Oh, you're not it. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, you are. Okay. Um, Her machines are... She has more than one. She has a couple of them, actually. Um, and they are absolutely amazing. I bought a as-seen-on-TV one that she had, and I have yet to fuck with it, and I really need to. And she is currently doing a series called uh, Hat for a Heathen, and she's yeah, making... Really cool. Um, a beanie for the new boyfriend um, who is a heathen. <laughs> and she's trying to make a pattern for him. So it's it's been an adventure so far. I should probably open up that heater a little bit, that vent a little bit more so I stop being cold. Jelly bean, what hat do you want? I have a wait list right now, though. I'm trying to get through all of the stuff that I'm making for people for the channel first, and then I'm going to start taking orders again. Oh, no! Nobody's making a hat for you, Jelly bean. It's for Carrie's boyfriend. <laughs> Not that smart. With the right side facing, join C. Single crochet into the first double crochet. In any uh, single crochet in the first double crochet in any six double crochet groups. Okay, now that I'm doing it, I can show you. So when I do my amigurumi, when you do a normal 
single crochet, you come out and you pull from the front mm -hmm. to make your, your double loops and then pull through. What I do is I go under and I pull from behind and then I pull through and pull through again. So it makes a tighter single crochet. No, oh, that's right. there is no chain between the DCs. Mm, Ma'am. No. Well, then I fucked up the whole last row. Yep. I gotta redo Guess it. what I'm doing? Ribbit. Ribbit. Frog nut, bitch. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm like, no, no, no. This isn't making sense. <laughs> there is actually a count to doing circles, and I'm not going to explain it because it's a lot of math, but my, my, my nose was twitching. I'm like, this count isn't right. <laughs> the math is not right. So, yeah. Okay, so if we're going to do five rows per show, that's going to be three shows, but then we have 17 rounds. So are we going to throw extra rounds in a couple of, sh in, in two of the shows, or are we just going to do an extra show with just two rounds? Extra show. Okay. And we can do questions and answers afterwards. Okay. We can talk about turning out, turning it into other stuff, too. Okay. Now, if I was doing this as a blanket, which it may end up being. Uh, and I got so far in and realized I had fucked up somewhere instead of like, say I'm on row 13 and realized I fucked up row 13. Guess who's not going to frog that entire row and go back? Not this kid. If I make there, a mistake. There are ways to fix it. <laughs> right. If I make a mistake in an, in an item that I'm making, I typically leave that mistake because of a superstition that I have. And that is if you leave at least one mistake in something that you're crocheting or knitting um, and it's not that detrimental, um, then your soul has a way of escaping to come back because when you make something that's handcrafted, you put your heart and soul into it. Well, you don't want your soul stuck in something that you've made. That's why I always leave at least one mistake. And people think I'm crazy for that, but there's other people who agree with that. I need to get in my drawer that has all my beanies in it and start wearing different beanies throughout the shows. That's what I was doing. That's what I was starting to do last night. And that's why I wore this today. It's just an old wives' tale that I was taught a long time ago. There's a superstition that you're not supposed to make um, items for uh, New your spouse relationships if, if you're not married. Mm -hmm. uh, however, that one I'm not so pushy on like i've made just in three blankets so far a couple of stubbies. you're basically married that doesn't count. i know i know i know i mean we call each other husband and wife so now if you're dating somebody and they order something or they what's the word i'm looking for starts with a c commission you for something that's a different story because there's a loophole mm
Dixie is very concentrated. Hers is hunting rabbits. I'm hunting the rabbits. I'm half done. <laughs> I'm almost done on this. The row I fucked up. Like, unlike my grandmother, I cannot look away while I'm doing it. My great grandmother could just, her hands went on autopilot, even when she was doing like intricate lace work and would look around and talk to people. And I'm like, well, that's not happening. I mean, kind of like what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. It's just a double crochet. I, do, I don't miss that. It's a stitch that I'm very used to. Mm -hmm. If I do a granny square, I can do it completely blind. If I do a corner to corner, it's a little bit more, I have to feel it out. And since I fucked up on the last row, instead of where the yarn joins, I'm just going to magic knot it and continue with that yarn until I hit this yarn, which is also perfectly acceptable. So at the end of the fourth round, it should look a little like that. Don't look at the pieces that are popped out. Those are, <laughs> I gotta, I'm going to sew those in later, you fuckers. <laughs> I'll show you the front side so it looks pretty. Good. Run it closer so you guys can kind of see the colors. So that's what that's going to be. One, two, three, four. Oh, you were right. Double, two, three, four. And it wasn't laying right. It was, it was girdling. Which drives me absolutely insane. That's when you block the motherfucker. I was just going to say, I usually pull block like I'm doing right this second. <laughs> A little bit anyways because of my tension and this is what mine looks like see that's the difference between tight tension and loose tension <laughs> and because i have tight tension i do have to i call it pull blocking when when i'm doing around like this i pull the edges a little bit mm -hmm. the corners up so it doesn't see how it twists up a little bit mm -hmm. now if we had added those three chains between each one it would have been very curly it was very curly i was like that's not that's not working for me that curl is not working for me <laughs> oh it's really not that difficult you just do a front double po double front post double but yeah it's a, it should be a front post double with right side facing join C C with stitch and first DC. 
What is this? DC groups. Okay. I didn't bring over. Well, I'm going to have to do my fifth row later because I didn't bring my other color over. I think I thought I did. Well, here's my crown. Hold on. There's my crocheted crown. Oh, yeah, I get it. And so I hope you all had fun. So on the fifth round, which is the finishing round for this show, which I'm actually going to finish off screen in between shows because we have, what, a 30-minute break? Yeah. Okay. It's going to look like that. Ta-da! And that's going to give you some more stability to your work mm -hmm. also. It's a big breath. Yeah, sometimes I need those. <laughs> so anyone who wants to play Don't Start With Us, we do play on Steam, so that's you have to be on Steam to play. Um, we'll be starting at 9.30. And, um, yeah. That's that's the what and the who what. I've got some computers to swap out. I have got some string cheese to shove in my face really quick. I got a pee. Vixie's got a pee. Yeah. So, I'm going to run... Our beautiful bean footage, and uh, actually, I'm not. I'm gonna run our home footage. I'll be burning the bean footage with the next show for our okay. pee break. <laughs> so, I hope you guys come and see us play. If you don't want to play, come watch us play, and we'll try to talk to you. But I can't promise anything because we're worried about starving to death. Yeah, death, death, all the death, death. all the deaths. All right, we love you. Bye bye. Kelly, bye. Do you want to know? Well, I've been thinking about you. And I think I'll have to listen. Because the sun is up, it's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright, it's like luck is raining on me. Follow your heart 